Hi, my name is Yona and I'm one of the employability coaches in the Careers and Employability Service here at Bath Spa University. My role is to support final year students and graduates as they navigate those next steps after graduation. While you're no longer a student at Bath Spa University, it doesn't mean to say that we can no longer support you. The Career Service is here to help for up to three years after you graduate. As a Bath Spa graduate, you can also sign up for the Grad Support Unit to secure graduate career support for after you've left us. If you sign up with the Grad Support Unit, we'll keep in touch with you and let you know about opportunities and initiatives that have been specifically designed with graduates in mind. So examples of these include things like graduate internships exclusive to Bath Spa graduates, the Bath Spa Graduate Scheme, which will allow you to start your career here at Bath Spa University, funding and grants if you're interested in freelance or starting your own business, careers events, digital resources, and also longer and more tailored one-to-one -one career coaching appointments with coaches like myself. Please sign up with the Grad Support Unit Check your inbox or have a look on our website for details on how to sign up. You can also get in touch with us through My Career, which is our online careers platform. You'll just need to make a graduate account to get started. You can also contact us by email at gradsupportunit at bathspa.ac.uk. 15 months after your course end date, you'll be contacted to take part in the National Graduate Outcome Survey. Wherever your next steps take you after graduation, whether this be working, self-employment, developing a portfolio, traveling, freelancing, or something else, we'd really love to hear what you're up to. Your responses will allow us to shape and improve our services and courses for current and future students. We're here to support you in any way we can with life after graduation, so please do keep in touch with us.
Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, unfortunately, we've heard news there is a, a major accident on the M4, and so we have actually got quite a few missing graduates. So can I beg your patience just while we give opportunity to get as many of those into the ceremony um, rather than them missing their opportunity. So we are going to delay the start by about 10 to 15 minutes. So I thought I'd give you that warning. You could have a quick toilet break if you need to. I'll come back as soon as I can and tell you what's happening, but we, we are going to delay. Thank you.
Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Just to keep you updated, we are going to start the show in two or three minutes. So if you could start returning to your seats, we'll get underway as soon as possible. Thank you. Good afternoon again. Firstly, thank you ever so much for your patience um, whilst we dealt with those last minute um, arrivals. Uh, train strikes, motorway closures, we've dealt with it all already, but let's get on with the show. Hello, my name's Mark McGuinness. I'm a member of the academic community at Bath Spa University, and it's my privilege to lead us through proceedings today. I'd like to welcome all graduates Come on, cheer, 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 graduates. And it's not a competition, but also the guests. Thank you, thank you. And also welcome to everybody joining us on the live stream wherever you are in the world today. So my job is actually to do two things. Firstly, is to run through the preliminaries so that you're clear on the shape of the ceremony, particularly the graduates, so you can just relax and enjoy your show. And the second thing I'll do is take us through the ceremony once we're joined by academic colleagues um, with all the empty seats filled in just a couple of minutes' time. So, some quick thank yous, first of all. Uh, we come to Bath Forum, they are friends. We thank them very much for their support in putting on our show here um, every time we come here. And many staff of the university give up their time. We, we get volunteers because people love coming to this event so much. They make it happen. Uh, the university kind of comes to a standstill on a day like today because people get involved in this. 
So I would like everybody to give all of those above a big round of applause. Thank you. So very shortly, very shortly I will um, ask everyone in the auditorium to stand for the entrance of the academic procession. They'll come in at the back of the auditorium on the ground floor. They'll make their way to the front and assemble on the stage here to my right. Um, if you remain standing throughout that process, um, I'm sure um, you'll enjoy the very colourful and splendid entrance of the academic procession. If you're wondering, we all wear the colours of our last awarding institution. So that's what I'm doing, that's what you're doing today. So it's very colourful, the institutions represented are, are many and varied. So I'm sure you'll enjoy that. I will um, then move us on to the uh, presentation of awards. We do have an honorary award today, so we'll go through that before presenting our graduates to the academic procession and to the Vice-Chancellor. Now, graduates, when the time comes, you will be asked row by row to stand, and as a whole row, and you'll be asked, asked to assemble in this channel to your right, down this side of the auditorium. Staff will tell you when, that, when to do that. Please follow their instruction. Everything will run very smoothly. You'll make your way towards the front. We have a set of steps right in front of me here. We also have a ramp if, that's, um, if you prefer to use that. You'll come up the steps and at the top step, just wait until your name is read out. My colleague Helen will be standing here checking names as we go through and she will gently guide you across the stage towards the Vice-Chancellor who will be standing in the middle of the stage looking towards you. Make your way across the stage, do take your time, give everyone a wave, if you can find your loved ones, your supporters. Um, we have had people moonwalk and things like that, but I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you've got new shoes on. Uh, the Vice-Chancellor today has made it clear to me that she is happy to be led by you as graduates, whether you would like to shake hands with her or not. She will reciprocate if that's what you would like to do. You don't have to, a tip of the hat or even just a smile will be enough just to acknowledge her as you pass. So we leave that with you to decide what you would like to do and feel comfortable with. Now, I've already briefed Juliet, who's the first graduate up. No pressure. If, as long as you get it right, everyone else can just follow you. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. There are small breaks in the presentation where you'll see me bring readers up on and off the stage to the, to the lectern with a doff of the hat to make sure that the reader matches the academic school that's being presented. Uh, and we will also then move to some final words as the Vice-Chancellor closes the ceremony. In total, we think it will take about maybe 75 minutes, maybe slightly more, slightly less, but just so you can pace yourself. Finally, a few short housekeeping announcements from me. If you have a mobile phone on you, could you please check it's on silent, if, if not switched off? Of course, we have first aid trained staff available for you. If you need assistance of any kind, just attract the attention of any one of our, our colleagues in the auditorium, and we'll get that assistance um, to you as quickly as we can. And in the unlikely event that the building needs to be evacuated for any reason, there will be a clear announcement to that effect and please leave via your nearest exit. Now, with no further ado, and thank you again for your patience, we await the entrance of the academic procession, so please stand. This is called working your audience.
distinguished guests, graduates, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I call upon the Vice-Chancellor of Bath Spa University, Professor Sue Rigby, to open this graduation ceremony. Welcome everyone. It's such a pleasure to see you here. Uh, and apologies for the late start. It will already have been explained to you that there's been a, quite a major crash on the M4 and we wanted as many of our graduating cohort to be here as possible. So thank you very much for bearing with us while we made a slightly slow start today. Also, before I, I get on to the speeches proper and that bit where you can drift off, I wanted to introduce a new and vitally important member of the university community. Um, for any of you who really got bored in the last 15 minutes and read the program, I'm a vice chancellor. In fact, I once got a speeding ticket and when I put that on the form, I thought they might think I ran a house of disrepute. Um, you, but you may have wondered what the vice is for and it's because most universities have a chancellor who is their figurehead. Not somebody who's employed by the university, but who represents us and in so many ways represents our values, our dignity and our sense of being. We're in the process of onboarding a new chancellor today. She's with us in the audience, uh, but I think it's really important for you to know that you will be graduating in the um, presence, not just of people who've taught you and the professional staff who care for you so much, and me, but also our new chancellor, Sharanji Lale. And I'll just ask her to stand up so you can see where she is and give her a big round of applause. <laughs> We really believe in embarrassing people in this university, so your moment is coming. So, friends and guests, graduates, colleagues, a very warm welcome to this, the first of our Bath Spa University winter graduations. And colleagues, feel free, please feel free to remove your hats. You need to keep yours on for a while. Welcome to our ceremony. This is a celebration of your fantastic achievements, including the achievements of our honorary graduate, Peter Clegg, an architect of great eminence who has sustainable and environmentally aware architecture at the heart of his practice for over 40 years. Welcome also to the Forum, this amazing venue, a space of culture and creativity made manifest. And an early shout out to our many colleagues who are running the proceedings today, be they ushers, live streamers, first aiders, and registrars, all of whom stand with me and my colleagues on the platform to celebrate your qualification. Many of you are not graduating for the first time. You're old hands at this, yeah? Yes, you're very old hands at this. But I need to remind you what this ceremony is about. It's about your transition from a less qualified to a more qualified state, it's the moment when you embody all the hard work that's led you to this point of achieving this qualification. So it's a ceremony about celebration, about recognition, and a moment to consider what your qualification means and what you can and should do with it. I'm going to digress for a moment. In most parts of the Christian church, there are moments of transition that are considered to be affirmations of faith or engagements with a faith community and to be recognized by God. Depending on which part of the Christian faith you belong to, they include things such as baptism, communion, confirmation, marriage, ordination. In our secular and properly more plural society, there are only one or two transitions that everyone would recognize as being on that kind of scale. Taking a degree or a higher degree is one of those. It's an enormous personal achievement. It's a permanent mark of status that comes from that achievement. It's earned. And it is, I think, also a moment when what you are receiving is also something that enriches society more widely and which carries with it the burden and privilege of enhanced expectations. So to begin, a moment to think about your achievement, 
I'll state the blindingly obvious here, these things are not hard to get. They are hard to get. Anyone in the audience found it easy? Put your hand up. Um, you will have started with a great degree of uncertainty. You will have wondered about that first submission. Is it good enough? You will have been confused and frustrated as you struggle to understand the difference between good and excellent in this new environment that you found yourself in. You will have been stressed. Too much has been asked of you in too short a time. And occasionally, you will have been elated by a really good mark, by an eye-opening seminar, by a sudden and personal moment of insight. And you've also gone through this during the restless anxiety of our post-COVID recovery. This does not make you victims, it makes you supers. You may remember there was a very famous pair of dancers from the last century, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. And someone once asked Ginger what it was like partnering with the best dancer in the world. And she commented that everything he did, she did backwards and in high heels. You are Ginger Rogers. Earlier and later graduates are only Fred Astaire's. Bearing that in mind, I would ask you now just to take a moment to reflect, reflect on that journey, on the highest and lowest moments, to take stock of how far you've come. And I'll just pause here for a moment to let each of you take that journey in your own minds. Now looking back, I'm sure you'll be absolutely clear about the critical part that the support of your friends and family has had in helping you to get here today. Many of these vital people are here with you now and be sure that the rest are thinking about you with great affection and with great pride. And in a moment, I'd like to ask you to stand up, to turn towards your carers, supporters, family and friends and to give them an enormous round of applause. And as you do that, to think of your absent supporters and the pride that they have in you. So if I could ask you if you would rise, turn to face your supporters and give them an enormous round of applause. Sometimes I'm tempted to have one chair taken away while we do that. <laughs> so no need to stand up for this one, but can I also ask you to join me in thanking those staff who've taught you and supported you in other ways through your studies. I'm privileged to lead a group of outstanding academics and professionals who have you, their students, always at the heart of what they do. They work long hours and too many of them and they are as delighted by your attainments as you are, as I am. So please join me in thanking them now. <clears throat> so next, I'd like to take a few moments to think with you about what your qualification comprises. Subject knowledge, for sure, but knowledge is transient you will forget most of what you've learned over the years, and most of what you've learned will go out of date. Sorry, but there it is. It is not too bad for me, because I'm a paleontologist, so that never goes out of date. <laughs> but the rest of you. Um, what else then? Skills. You can do things now that only a tiny minority of people can do, whether that's paint, code, film, throw a pot, take a photograph, teach a class. This may well be where your personal journey begins with the skill set acquired over the last months. But your qualification is much more than that. It's the means by which you've learned to be resilient, to be resourceful, to lead, sometimes actively to follow, to be sure of your own capabilities and to be able to tackle profound challenges. Study at Bath Spa has enabled you to build your confidence. You know how much you can achieve. It has built your curiosity about people, 
about art and culture, about the future, about the world you inhabit and the world you would like it to be. It has built your creativity, your ability to think outside the box, to ask the right questions and to answer them in a way that makes a difference. As you walk across the stage in a few minutes, you should take stock of all of this, own it, internalize it, become it, and walk taller for it. It's just a few steps from one side of the platform to the other, but it marks the end of your studies and the start of your post-graduation life. It's a profound transition. It's a permanent change. As you start this journey, you begin by leaving us. So this is a high point in the university calendar, but also a day of great sadness. A university is not its buildings or its research outputs, or indeed its individual instances of learning. It's a community of people who learn, who love to learn and see the value of it. Nothing more and nothing less. And you have been central to that community and your contribution has been significant. While we'd have it no other way than that you graduate from our world and move on, you leave a big gap and we are very sorry to say goodbye. But keep in touch. You are always part of the Bath Spa community. And if we can help you in any way in the future, let us know. And we would love to hear about your successes and stories in the coming years. And this is a community to be incredibly proud of. Our roots stretch deep back into the 1850s. And since that time, some of Britain's finest artists and teachers have worked with us. But we are a university of the 21st century, designed to meet the challenges of a post-industrial, highly volatile and rapidly changing world. So in that world, I want to reflect briefly on what your qualification means to the rest of us, to the wider society, that now benefits from what you can do. You graduate into uncertain times with an academic armory that will allow you to thrive and which contributes to helping others to thrive as well. The qualifications that you'll receive today span the whole gamut from art, film, media, design, education. And these are skills the world needs. We must have creators, makers, leaders, teachers, and you should be highly ambitious for your future. The creative industries are one of the UK's biggest success stories, one of its largest sources of revenue. They're also a source of joy, solace, entertainment and enrichment, all things that people need in order to survive and to thrive. They're vital to our individual and collective well-being, and they create the spaces for people and society to think about and to solve the wicked problems of our age. The other vital space for doing that work is in the classroom, with great teaching the key to opening minds, creating futures and realising potential. You are amongst the most privileged of professionals going into one of society's most demanding roles. And success for you may be on a global stage or a more local one, within a small group of valued family and friends. But wherever you go, you will make a difference. That is your job and it's vital. And from here on, remember, there's no endpoint assessment. There's nobody else judging what you do. There's only that small voice inside that expresses pride and determination as you make your way through life. But if I had to choose a set of people to make change and to make things better, it would be you, our graduating cohort. And just now, I can ask no less of you than that you thrive in your life journeys, that you make a difference, and that in doing so, piece by piece, you change everything. You have the rest of your lives to spend, and I'll be delighted to watch as you spend it wisely and for the benefit of others in these complicated and rapidly changing times. So, well done, graduates, and have a great day. You have earned it, and I salute you. Well done. So we're going to start with the award of an honorary doctorate. The university has within its gift 
the authority to award honorary degrees to individuals whose achievements and activities are resonant with the core values of the institution. We now make one such award, and I'm very pleased to invite Dr. Penny Hay to propose the award of an honorary doctorate of letters at Bath Spa University to Peter Clegg, co-founder of Field and Clegg Bradley Studios and a pioneer in environmental design. Thank you, Vice-Chancellor. Peter is an extraordinary human. He's passionate about the importance of the environment, nature and imagination in all of our lives. Professor Peter Clegg is an internationally acclaimed architect who established Field and Clegg Bloody Studios with Richard Fielden in 1978 and was made a Royal Designer for Industry in 2010 in recognition of his outstanding global work in architecture. Peter's work responds beautifully to place, people and the planet and promotes quality and innovation in architecture. As Sue said, he's regarded as a pioneer in environmental design. He has 45 years experience in low energy architecture and is active in research, design, and education. Peter's previously worked on a master plan for Basque University, and in fact, our university theatre at Newton Park, fondly known previously as the Hedgehog, was designed by Peter and his team. Peter works primarily in the educational and cultural sectors, and now holds a professorship at the University of Bath. He's led projects at Yorkshire Sculpture Park, where he's now Chair of Trustees, London's South Bank Centre, Brighton's Corn Exchange Theatre, and the Leventis Gallery in Cyprus. Many, many more. He's also currently working on projects for the British Library North, the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford, Eden Dundee, and the Green City Kigali Project in Rwanda. Peter's involvement in schools and higher education projects includes a new school of engineering in Toronto, and an academy for the Al Khan Foundation in ba Bangladesh. He is a trustee of the Fielden Foundation, which works on sustainable education projects in East Africa. And as an honorary fellow of the Royal Institute of British Architects, Peter has chaired their National International Research Awards and the Southwest Review Panel for Design. Peter has authored many books, and particularly on low energy, including the Environmental Handbook, and he was one of the founding signatories, signatories of Architects Declare, which has now become a global movement. Peter has been committed to the legacy of his father, his late father, Sir Alec Clegg's work in education and imagination throughout his career. And this is where our lives collided beautifully again. He is a founding trustee of local charity, James Farm, and also a founding partner in our wonderful project, Forest for Imagination, now in its 11th year, alongside Andrew Grant, Grant Associates, House for Imagination, and Bath by University, obviously. Forest of Imagination, if you don't know about it, is a long-term research and public engagement project that invites the wider community of Bath in reimagining urban spaces to explore our relationship with nature and celebrates our collective imagination. In memory of our wonderful friend and patron, Sir Ken Robinson, you may know his famous TED talk, Our Schools Killing Creativity, with millions and millions of views. We have been working together, and Peter, alongside our Vice-Chancellor, Sue Rigby, who you've now met, has named Bath as a city of imagination, a project that continues to be co-designed with our students and staff, many of them here today. So to finish then, I think creativity, culture and enterprise are central themes in Peter's work and closely aligned with our mission at Basque University to develop staff and students with curiosity, creativity and confidence. Peter is hugely distinguished in his field. 
He's also extremely modest about his achievements. It's an absolute honor to work alongside him and his team. Peter brings his gentle wisdom, his deep humility, and creative expertise to every aspect of our university partnerships. Vice Chancellor, I present to you Peter Clegg as eminently worthy of the award of Doctors of Letters of Bath Spa University. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, very much, Vice Chancellor. Thank you very much, Professor Hay. I sh You're Penny, aren't you? I mean, you know, that's thank you very much, Penny. And uh, I'd just like to say how honored I am. And, and first of all, just to add my congratulations to those of you on this side of the hall. Because uh, I feel a bit of a fraud. You know, you've been working for two or three years to gain a degree, and I just waltz up and put the garb on and come and get it, get one. You know, it seems, it seems a bit unfair, really. So congratulations to you. And um, also, it's just it's a real honor um, to be um, given this award by Bath Spa University. I've taught for 35 years up at the other university. And here I come and get one from Bath Spa, which is absolutely amazing. I, I have to say, it's, uh, it's great that we have two universities that are both now teaching architecture. Um, arts, architecture up in the science-based university is very much part of the engineering world. Architecture down here, I expect, is to do with the liberal arts education, which, in a way, I feel more of an affinity for, because architecture just sits very neatly in the center between arts and sciences. Um, it's always amazed me that it's been such a popular course, and I think that's because of, of its universal appeal across the subject areas. And I think uh, it's, it's interesting that, um, I hope you haven't said, Vice Chancellor, that it's easy to make a lot of money being an architect and encourage people to, do, to go into it for that reason because it isn't, but it is an amazing education because um, it's a subject area that includes those things that you were talking about, the soft skills that are so important to you when you launch your careers beyond this institution. So as an architect, you have to learn communication skills, you have to learn collaboration skills, you have to learn problem-solving skills. Design is basically analysis and synthesis of solutions. And you have to learn to, to nurture your creative skills. And that's so important about what Penny and I have been working on in the last 10 years. And the Forest of Imagination, which is an extraordinary uh, uh, group of an organization which belongs to this university, but it also belongs to the city of Bath and every city should have one. It is a unique organization that addresses creativity in education, in schools, as well as in the university, and brings the university into the city. And that's exactly the spirit of creativity that we should be encouraging, that this city is based on. If you look back in history, back 200 years, when Bath was the eighth largest city in the country, that was, that was because of the entrepreneurial creativity of a few key people, of Ralph Allen, who owned the stone quarries, of John Wood, who was the architect of many of the buildings, extraordinary urban landscapes, urban structures that you see around you, and of Bo Nash, who was the great socialite, but also then there were Caroline and William Herschel, who were um, the, the astronomers that lived in, in New King Street, you know, and Jane Austen, as obviously. You know, it was an extraordinarily creative city 200 years ago. It was an extraordinarily creative city when I first moved here 50 years ago, and there were, there were, it was the beginnings of the Bath Festival culture. Uh, and, you know, you'll hate me for saying this, but you could buy a Georgian house for, for 10,000 pounds as we did and turned it into an office and created a community architecture uh, department there within the middle of the city. 
So um, it's, you, you are, I hope, fortunate. That you, I hope that you've appreciated what this city has to offer. I hope you won't lose touch with it, and I hope you won't lose touch with, the, with your university as well. And I think it's, it's important for you to hang on to the uh, strength of this university as an arts and education-based organization. And I wish you well in whatever careers you go into, and I hope that uh, you will maintain that vital connection back to your, um, back to your educational f uh, institution that, is, that has given you all this opportunity. So thank you so much, and thank you again, Vice-Chancellor, for this uh, amazing degree. Uh, I feel unworthy of it, but um, I, it, it's, it's been, I think it's a reflection of what I feel for the university and the city that I've adopted as my home. Thank you very much. We continue the presentation of awards to graduates of Bath Spa University and I call upon the Vice-Chancellor to receive the graduates from Bath School of Art, Film and Media, Bath School of Design and the School of Education. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Bachelor of Arts with honors in combined awards, Juliet Peterson Caffel. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts in honors in fine art. Lauren Veronica Harvey Blees. <laughs> Isabella Luciani. <laughs> Elena Dawn Oliver. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Fine Art. Georgiana Florence Barnes. Claire Clark. Annette Curran McAteer. Prachi Patel. Bhavana Ram Mohan. Brian John Rawlings. Bedrija Sarbaz. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Fine Art Ceramics. Yelena Dietrich. <laughs> Lucy Green. <laughs> Emily Lewin. Sonia Ruth Wilkins. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Master of Arts in Fine Art Photography. Anna Kovalevska. Vice-Chancellor, 
I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Creative Computing Gaming. Jacob John Barrington Hooson. Paul Michael Johnson. Blessing given, way we, way we. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Creative Computing Web Technologies. Finley Charles Stevens. Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Bachelor of Arts in Graphic Communication, Arthur Philippe Morea. <laughs> Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Interior Design with Foundation Year, Bethan Kalea. Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Interior Design. Amber Jane Rosalind Hodges. <laughs> Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Master of Arts in Design, Alicia Alkins. Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Design, Illustration, Oliver Bilharts van Blockland. <laughs> Gemma Louisa Dunnell. <laughs> Shalini Jossalia. Viola Pauline Nelson. <laughs> Martin Duncan Wielding. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Design Textiles. Ella Caton. Amy Alice Gale. <laughs> Emily Jane Richards. <laughs> Jasnik Sandhu. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the awards of Master of Arts in Design, Visual Communication. Jeswin Johnson. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Science in Cybersecurity. Arena. <laughs> Sandeep. Dinesh Kumar Bali. <laughs> Amajit Kaur Shahal. <laughs> Kamal Deep. <laughs> Pretty Devi. Carl Keith Joyce. <laughs> Gigandi Kaur. <laughs> 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 
Blackaby Core. Verinda Core. Albert Jose Cunan. Amit Kuar Kumar. Okay, Onya Bucci. Kit Jamie Pierman. Amajit Singh. Navshot Singh. Alan David Stone. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Combined Awards. Tegan Francis Friend. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Early Childhood Studies. Charlene Joan Mary Frampton. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education, Michelle Chouillet. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education, Primary and Early Years. Danny Lorian Strother. Emily Rose Turnstill. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Development and Education, Single Honours. Abby Michelle Lewis. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education with QTS recommendation in PGC Primary and Early Years 5 to 11, Hannah Lee Brandreth Bosso. <laughs> <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education with QTS recommendation in PGCE Primary and Early Years 5 to Lend with SEND Specialism, Holly Maria Beard. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education with Primary 5 to 11, Teach First, Isabella Agus. <laughs> Claudia Rose Roma Elizabeth Curry. <laughs> Jenna Holly Thede. <laughs> Gwyneth Faye Tonkin. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education with Secondary English Teach First, Anakin Kwok. <laughs> Remna Salim. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education with Secondary Mathematics Teach First, Daisy Carter. <laughs> um, Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education with Modern Foreign Languages Teach First, Leah West.
Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education with Secondary Science Teach First, Clauda Mary Allen. <laughs> Somi Joshi. <laughs> Atfa, Atfa Abdulrahman Muhammad. <laughs> Priya Taylor. Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Early Years, 3 to 7 Teach First, Lula Hassan. <laughs> Naida Siddiqui. <laughs> Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Primary, 5 to 11 Teach First, Kimberly Jane Adaman. <laughs> Priscilla Julia Abdu Bobby. <laughs> Aisha Ya Afria Awua. <laughs> William John Bartlett. Samantha Josephine Lily Burt. <laughs> Isabel Christina Caballero. <laughs> Rebecca Comley. Grace Copeland. <laughs> Abby, Abby Jane Cullen. Letitia Cheryl Forbes. <laughs> Katie Garrett. <laughs> Sheeran Edna Gutulkin. <laughs> Tasnim Farah Jivraj. <laughs> Helene Laura Hillary Lavener. Leah Marie Mayuin Lowe. <laughs> Mumby Jessica Malenga. <laughs> Simone Louise Radford. <laughs> Heba Rahman. <laughs> Olivia May Roebuck. Tom Ryan. <laughs> Bethany Rose Smith Bishton. <laughs> Holly Thomas. <laughs> Kirsty Allison Turner Westell. <laughs> Jessica Jennifer Watts. Muthanisa Yoganathan. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Secondary Business Studies Teach First, Abba Barisha. <laughs> Sophie Cassidy. Hannah Daisy Legg. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Secondary Computing Teach First. Isaac Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> Talha Bakatia. Elizabeth Grace Chandler. <laughs> Patricia Loretta Kelly. 
Ravina Kaur Senga. Neeraj Sunda. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of postgraduate diploma in education with secondary design and technology, Teach First, Wilfred Henry Turkington. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of postgraduate diploma in education with secondary English, Teach First, Alana Ann Hicks Barker. Samuel Alexander Baxter. <laughs> Alexandra Chrysanthu. <laughs> Sashana Zipora Cohen. <laughs> Rose Florence Collard. <laughs> Gabriel Allen Ifo Ikoku. Helen Elizabeth Ferris. <laughs> Georgia Rose Gifford. <laughs> Brianna Shanae Sean Green. <laughs> Mashrin Hossein. <laughs> Lara Henna Cavill. Jasmine Majubi. <laughs> Tasha Chantil Mapes. <laughs> Ashina Nazim. <laughs> Asha Nadine Obogmo. <laughs> Jalisa Rahman. Jade Kathleen Rahman. <laughs> Aisha Rahimam. <laughs> Guy William Francis Seddon. <laughs> Abby Heather Sprebra. <laughs> Sophie Treneman. Hamira Yasmin. <laughs> Safia Zare. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of postgraduate diploma in education with secondary geography, Teach First, Caitlin Jessica Arnold. Kemra Ala Shaznay Hurd. Omar Basim Alawadir. Alexander Ian Morvon Gillespie. Elizabeth Ruth Lewin. Antonia Alice Lindsay. <laughs> Alexander Joseph Lachlan McNeil. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of postgraduate diploma in education with secondary history, Teach First, Emily Delahay. Hugh William Dollery. <laughs> Connor Francis Hilliard. <laughs> Charlotte James. <laughs> Amy Olivia Flanagan Key. Vice-Chancellor, 
I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Secondary Mathematics Teach First, Susanna Rose Allen. <laughs> Davina Shavda. <laughs> Yasmin Shalali. <laughs> Artemis Nicole Cowley. <laughs> Abigail Anna Krushank. <laughs> Joshua Henry Hunter. <laughs> Nupa Jane. <laughs> Naomi Kathajesu. <laughs> Lara Matilda Mayers. <laughs> Sarah Main. <laughs> Omima Muhammad. <laughs> Christopher Joseph Pickford. Lucy Bethan Rollins. <laughs> Tristan Scott Hallam. <laughs> Grace Ann Millie Shute. <laughs> Abana Vijaya Kumaraman. Yvonne Yam. <laughs> Anna Maria Zocrafides. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Secondary Modern Foreign Languages Teach First. Lily Cordia Maisie Cartmel. Rosalind Helen Coon. Sarah Leslie Dore. Sophie Louise Duffy. Evangeline Thea Foster. Sarah Hajira Haiti Kawaja. Julia Maria Holderer. <laughs> Amana Francis Moore. <laughs> Verity Elizabeth Eve Pern. <laughs> Cicely Annie Rose Podmore. <laughs> Kelis Kaisha Powell. Eshin Zarakokologu. <laughs> Bronwyn Gemma Thoresen. <laughs> Imogen Nia Williams. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Secondary Music Teach First. Daniel Stephen Johnston. <laughs> Emma Miyake Payne. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Secondary Religious Education Teach First, Anne Dominique Bisa Badenhop. Valentina Maria Guseligilio. Okay. 
Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Secondary Science Teach First. Shay Arthur Lewis Clements. <laughs> Abdurrahmin Devereche. <laughs> Anita Faith Asadu Iyobi Wawe. <laughs> Nadia Kemale. Jasmine and Leyland. Andrea Scanty Enu. Laura Christina Scott. John Jacob Singleton. For Lucy Savaporan Ranan. Amber Rose Smithson. Nicole Lauren Marie Spencer. Mohammed Wasim. Dina Whittier. <laughs> Kamir Pawol Warach. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Counseling and Psychotherapy Practice. Abigail Bob Semple. <laughs> Emma Louise Campolucci. <laughs> Andy Chapel. <laughs> Rosemary Corbin. Diana Julia Delosio. <laughs> Finton Davitt. <laughs> Tina Suzanne Evans. <laughs> Sharon Ann Fox. <laughs> Ruth Michelle Jenkins. Roberta Lucy King. <laughs> Matt Little. <laughs> Arif Elahi Mogul. <laughs> Leah Michelle O'Shaughnessy. <laughs> Gregory William Seeger. Lydia Michael Tatty. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Education, Leadership and Management. Kirti Agarwal. <laughs> Agatha Chinonye Asarone. <laughs> Kuljeet Kaur. Aditi Sharma. <laughs> Garima Sharma. <laughs> Grace Stevens. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Educational pra Leadership, Teach First. Rosemary Ann Brooke. Lawrence Nicholas Howard Every. 
Nicola Anna Gurney. Vilda Sophie Husby Smith. Evelyn Clara Rose Pedley. Abigail May Waldock. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Inclusive Education. Kelly Marie Brew. <laughs> Bethany G. <laughs> Alexis Holt Garner. LMA Jones. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Professional Practice. Lauren Marie Dane. <laughs> Jenna Ann Sartain. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Master of Arts in Professional Practice in Higher Education, Erica Brackenbury. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidate for the award of Master of Arts in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages, Shabman Shaheen. Vice Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Special Educational Needs Coordination, SENCO. Samuel Mark Balch. <laughs> Heather Louise Gilbert. <laughs> Haley Hornby. <laughs> Emma Lucy Kirby. Jessica Diane Knight. Vice Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, in addition to those candidates presented to you, I commend to you the other candidates listed, but in absentia, for the conferment of their various awards. On my authority as Vice Chancellor of Bath Spa University, I confer the awards of those candidates here present and those in absentia. And in time-honoured fashion, graduates, bearing in mind that hats do have to go back in the end, you may now remove your hats. Well done. <laughs> I'd like to close this ceremony by offering you an Irish blessing. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may your God hold you in the palm of his hand. This ceremony is now closed. Would you please stand for the academic procession? Please stand. Thank you.